Hello, my beautiful hair lounge community. Welcome back in the hair lounge. Have you ever cut your bangs and then hated them or you were instantly ready to grow them out? Well, I know if you've ever had bangs, we know how big of a pain it is to grow them out. But I'm gonna show you a really easy way to help that process. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. you to hit that like button if you have ever attempted to grow your bangs out. I know if you've ever done this, you know how big and bulky they get. So eventually you start parting them down the middle or you start pushing them to a side. Well, when you have all those bangs in the front and you move them over to one side, you're going to get a very thick and heavy spot. I'm going to show you using thinning shears or texturizing shears how to remove all that bulkiness to help the growing out process so you do not have a big chunk of bang either on the left, the right, or on either side of your head. Don't forget, now is a perfect time to hit the red subscribe button. If you have not subscribed yet, don't be shy. If you have watched any of my previous videos, I did do a video on how to cut your own bangs. Click this link up here to do that. And I showed you how to cut either your kids' bangs or your own bangs on my daughter. And we have been growing her bangs out. So she is the perfect one to show you how to remove bulkiness off your bangs. So let me go get her. Welcome, welcome. Um, see how I'm combing? Yep, okay, like let's this. finish. I'm beautiful. Okay, so here is Miss Paisley, and she has been growing her bangs out. As you can see, they are getting very, very long. And we used to have them, let's comb them straight down. We used to have them straight, but they have gotten really, really long. But, turn your head love, other way. But if you look right here, you can see a big kind of thick bulky piece. And they're like blonde in there. Okay, so what we do is we take all that hair, so all those bangs, and we are going to just texturize the very, very ends. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna remove bulkiness out of there so it's not gonna be a thick chunk of hair. It kind of feathers the ends so then it blends really well into the rest of the hair. The more times you go over the same spot, the more thickness you're going to remove. So you wanna make sure if you're a child or if you have really fine or thin hair, you don't do too much because you don't want to get holes in the hair. So then, when you look at it, it makes the end so it's not so thick and bulky and it's a little bit lighter. It's not as thick of a chunk on there. We don't want chunky hair, huh? Yeah. <laughs> then it will make it like kind of funny. Did you ever have funky hair? Have you guys ever had funky hair? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, so now I'm going to part it down the middle just in case your kid does middle at all. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna check and just make sure there's no thick spots anywhere. And it just really blends into the rest of her hair really good. Okay, so that's all you do. It's super, super simple just to get rid of some of the bulkiness. So it makes it so it blends into the rest of her hair and it's not as thick and bulky. Now it's nice because it's long enough so she can tuck it behind her ear, but eventually what I will do is I will blend in the bottom part of her hair into the rest. So you can see right here, this is where her bangs are. This is the length of her hair. So I could take her bangs and I could blend her bangs into the bottom and do a little bit of face framing. That is the easiest way to blend those bangs into the rest of the hair. Like I said, you can eventually take the bangs and do face framing on the bottom, but her bangs were so thick that I wanted to be a tiny bit longer before I start doing face framing layers around her face. She really likes her hair braided, and so I wanna make sure that there's enough length still in the front so we can braid her hair. I hope that helped guide you on how to grow out those bangs, because I would say growing out your bangs is probably the hardest and the most frustrating thing to do. All you need is some thinning shears or texturizing shears to get the perfect blended style. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And as always, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.